Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for being here. I'm sitting outside today because it's like oddly nice out. Like it's not freezing cold. I mean, it's still cold, but it's 35 degrees, which is like, <laughs> it's freezing to a lot of you guys, but it's actually pretty warm. It's still snowing, like, I'm just ready for the snow to be gone, but I thought I would sit outside and talk to you guys today for my taste, not tasty Tuesday, for my, talk about it Tuesday so if you hear lots of cars in the background that's why but for today's video I am going to be talking about my family dynamic um, after I did my talk about divorce video I got a lot of requests for talking about like my siblings and how that all works so like I've said in previous videos I have six younger siblings the youngest one was born my sophomore year of college so Get to talk about this braid. I braided this. This is me. <laughs> yeah, Alan braided my hair. Anyway, yeah, so my youngest sibling was born my sophomore year of college. So he's like a freaking baby baby. And then I have another younger brother who is like around the 10 age. And then my two sisters were born like really close. They're both 11. It's hard to keep track of how old they are. Like, I feel like. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I feel like I'm the only person that like ages and so then when other people are getting old, I'm like, it's so weird that people are getting old. Like my little siblings to me are still like tiny little babies that I can just like cradle in my hands. And then I have two older brothers, they're the oldest besides me. Um, one is 16 and the one other one is 19. Holy crap, that's so weird. Growing up with a lot of siblings was like... A blessing me and Andy were really close growing up because for a while it was just us two we had the typical brother sister relationship where we got into fights a lot I literally have a story where I was trying to block him from going outside and he bit a chunk of my arm off like I'm not kidding his tiny little teeth bit like it's like a tiny little smaller than a dime it's like this big and I have like a scar from where he bit my skin off because he's a psycho um but no me and andy get along really well dylan is like my strongest little fighter i love him so much he has crohn's disease and um he's gone through a lot in his short life and he's just like the strongest kid i know he's been through so much i don't know if i could handle going through all of the medical stuff that he's been through and like even through all of that he still does amazing at school is really involved in school and he's just like my little role model i love him um, and then there's Samaya. I'll go in order of like oldest to youngest. Samaya is, she's my very first sister, so I was really excited um, to meet her. And she has grown into like this talented gymnast, and she's just like so lively and gorgeous. And then there's Malaya, who's around the same age as Samaya. Um, she is the sassiest little girl I know. She's been sassy since the day she could talk, even before that probably. Um, but she is really sweet and she does have a good heart and she is just like the, like, she loves dancing and like performing and like that's like her thing. And she's like my little blonde haired sister. Um, Tyson is the smartest kid I know. He's probably smarter than me and he's way, way, <laughs> he's like over 10 years younger than me. Like, and he has, like, such a sweet soul. For, like, he always gets, like, letters from school saying how much of a help he was and how respectful and sweet he is to the teachers and the other students. And, like, he's just a freaking genius and, like, the sweetest kid and has the greatest heart. And, by the way, both Samaya and Tyson have um, YouTube channels, so make sure you guys check them out. And then, oh, and Tyson's also in Cub Scouts right now, and he is the cutest little thing in his little Cub Scout outfit. And then there's Brody, my little baby brother, Broderick, but we call him Brody, baby Brody. And he is also like super smart. For a tiny baby, like he is well past his years and his education. Like he doesn't even go to school yet, but he's really smart, knows his ABCs and counts and like can have like full conversations with you. And like, he's just the sweetest and the cutest little baby. Yeah, so those are a little bit about my six siblings. I don't wanna go like too deep into them cause I could literally probably talk about each of them and how much I love them forever. But growing up, like it was kind of hard being the oldest because I was always the one stuck babysitting and like I kind of hated that. Of course growing up cause like when all my friends were going out I had to stay home and babysit but like now looking back, I'm like, 
I wish I was home so I could babysit my siblings. Like every time I go home, I try to squeeze as much time with all of them as much as possible. And that's the other thing, like having split families and trying to split my time between them is so hard. Like I want to see them all equally. Like I just need to like bring them all in and like spend 24 seven with them. That's what I feel like I need to do. But yeah, I think it's really important that you guys, like if you have younger siblings or like even other family members, cousins, whatever, just like really don't take for granted the time that you have with them and because like being away and being long distance from my family I've realized how precious and how special those moments are because being away for almost five years I've missed out on a lot of huge milestones like obviously I still see my family at least once a year around like the Christmas and holiday times and then usually sometimes in the summer so I'm not like completely missing out it's not like I've been gone for five years and haven't seen them for five years but I miss out on like birthdays and really big milestones like going to my brother's concerts and my sister's cheerleading competitions like I wish I was there for all of that stuff and like my parents post like pictures and videos and stuff on Facebook and I'm like I wish I was there to see them and like I feel like it's really important to me as the oldest to be a positive role model to them and like I just I just want to have that connection and that's like a big reason why I'm leaving Spokane and going back home because I do miss that connection with my family and like family is my number one like I will that's that's why I'm going home is so that I can be close with my family I love my life in Spokane and like the opportunities that I've got here but I miss my family more than anything especially my little siblings and like I want to be present in their lives and like continue to be a role model and somebody that they look up to in a positive way and I feel like I can do that better if I'm actually with them. They're still all really young. Most of them are really young so I don't want to you know talk too deeply and too in depth and get too personal about my siblings and just because they're still young but I thought that would be like a good this was like a good little um, video to give you guys more insight on my family dynamic. I think sharing the divorce, growing up with divorced parents video, and then telling you what it's been like being the oldest of six siblings kind of gives you a little insight on who I am and how, you know, how I've grown up and how I've been raised. And then, um, because I think it's important that you guys know more about me. Like, as we do these Talk About It Tuesdays, I just want to slowly, like, peel the layers and, like, explain more about myself so that you guys feel comfortable and like feel more connected to me that's the whole point of the talk about it tuesdays is to be real and honest and raw with you guys so that you guys can feel connected to me so you know that's really all that i have for this video um i hope that gives you a little bit more insight and was somewhat entertaining hearing about how i've grown up being the oldest of six siblings make sure you guys go and watch my uh tattoo video because i talk about how i incorporated my siblings into some of my tattoos so yeah but that's all for this Talk About It Tuesday. I hope you guys have a good rest of your week and I will see you guys next video. I'm so cold. We have to go inside. It's cold now. <laughs> all right. Bye guys.